In today's video, I'm going to take a look at how to use Node Red to control the LEDs on a Launchpad X that you see right back here. I'm working from the Launchpad X programmer's manual that I downloaded from the manufacturer's website. I'll include a link to this manual in the description below. I'm experimenting with controlling the button LEDs, and as the manual suggests, I'll use programmer mode to do that. Programmer mode assigns each button a unique number. So on the lower left of the Launchpad X, this is button 11. And as we work right, the button numbers increase by one. So this would be 12, 13, 14, etc. Now as we work our way up, the button numbers increase by 10. So this is button 11, 21, 31, 41, etc. There's also a color palette with 128 predefined color choices and the button LEDs are also fully RGB capable. The command type that you use determines whether RGB or the palette is used to determine an individual button's color. When using a normal MIDI message to control the LEDs, the color palette is used. When using the more complex SysX messages, you have the option to use either the palette or RGB. And we're going to take a look at this in more detail. Now let's switch over to Node Red and create a few flows. I'm starting out with a blank flow. So the first thing I'm going to do is add an inject node. And then double click it to get to the properties. I don't need this message.topic item, so get rid of that. And then for this message payload, I'm just going to click on the timestamp there and then change this to JSON. And then according to the documentation, to set it to programmer mode, there was a series of numbers that we needed to send to it. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. But here's the series of numbers. And this, obviously, this is not a standard MIDI message. This is a SysX message. So I'm just going to leave that in there. And then for the name, I'm going to call this Programmer Mode. Click on Done. So now that I have the first inject node in there, I need to scroll down over here on the left and get the MIDI Out node. Drag that out here. Double click this MIDI out. And then I'm going to choose the MIDI 2, the Launchpad X MIDI number 2. You see right here, that's the one we need. Click on Done. And then wire these together. Now I'll go ahead and click on Deploy. So now in the lower right hand corner of the screen, You'll see over here a little in picture in picture of the Launchpad X. So now when I press this button on the programmer mode, you'll see that the Launchpad X has just gone completely blank. It's like it turned off. Um, it's not off, it's actually still on. It's just all the lights turned off. And that tells me it's now in programmer mode. Now that it's in programmer mode, Let's set a few LEDs. So on the left here, I'm going to scroll all the way back down, get up to the inject node list, put another inject node in, double click it to get to properties. Again, don't need this message topic. Change this to JSON. And then in here, I'm going to put in 144, comma, 44, comma, 77. So the 144 is actually two things in one. Number one, it's a note on message, and it's also MIDI one, MIDI channel one. 44 is the button number. And again, we start with 11 here, and then going right, we increase by one, so that's 14. And then going up, we go by 10, so 24, 34, 44. So I would expect it's this button right here that we are going to turn the light on for. And then 77 is 
one color of 128 in that palette that we talked about earlier. So we'll go ahead and click on, well, click on done and then deploy. Wire this up, click on deploy again. Now when we click on this button, there we see that the button 44 is now lit up and it's lit up green. So why don't we change this name of this? So we'll say button 44 green and done. Let's light up uh, another button. So we'll add another inject node here. Wire this up. Double click the node. Again, get rid of the message.topic. Change message payload to JSON. And this will make flashing. For flashing, instead of 144 for just always on, flashing is 145, which is MIDI channel 2. And then we'll choose the next button to the right, which is 45. And then again, we'll use color 77. And so we'll call this button 45 flashing green. Done. Deploy. Now we'll go ahead and click the activate button. And now we got a flashing green. Let's do one more button. Well, again, we'll run an inject here. Wire that up. Double click. Remove that. Change this to JSON. Here we'll put in 146, which is the command for pulsing. We'll choose button 46. And again, we'll choose color 77. Done. Deploy. And then activate it. And now you can see here we have a pulsing light. Well, this one is just blinking on and off like crazy, and this one is steadily on. Moving on, there's another really nice option, and that is text scrolling. So I'm going to cut and paste the command I have pre-written here. I'm going to add another inject node. Wire it up. Get all these set. Now this is a long series of numbers. This is a sysx message, meaning that instead of just having one button or one light at a time, we're going to just feed in a series of numbers that it needs to know to do what it's going to do. In this case, it's going to scroll text. And the numbers here represent ASCII codes. So we'll click on Deploy, and then activate it. And of course, it's Hello World. Hello World. That's pretty cool. Now there's another message, another sysx message to actually stop this scrolling and go back to what it was doing before. So why don't we go ahead and add that. Oh, here, let's change this name. We'll call this Hello World. And then go double click this. Now again, this is a cut and paste of the series of numbers, the sysx command to stop the text scrolling. So go ahead and put that in place. So now when I activate it, we're back to where we were before. All right, there's one more thing I'd like to do. We'll go ahead and add an inject node. Get rid of that. 
This is another SysX message. This one is instructing a series of button LEDs to be on and different colors. So I'll click on done, done, and deploy. So before we move on, why don't we uh, add some code to turn off these lights that we've turned on already. So let's add another inject node. Double click it, we'll get rid of this. So 144, and then button, we'll say 46, and then zero. So zero meaning off. So we want button 46 to be off. So let's see how that works. So that pulsing light should now shut off, and it has. So now let's go ahead and activate this previous, and there we are. A nice smiley face. Well, that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.